predictive back was a feature Google first introduced with the launch of Android 14. It enables an animation to appear when you perform the swipe gesture to go back to the previous page. With Android 14, this animation was very pronounced and made it quite easy to see which page you were going back to. However, with the launch of Android 15, this animation was completely changed and the new one just isn't as useful in my opinion. If you're not familiar with what predictive back is, then I can hardly blame you. I did publish a video about the feature just over one year ago, but in Android 14, not only was this an optional feature that was disabled by default, it was also a hidden feature within the developer options menu. So to give you a look at what the animation used to look like, here I have my Pixel 7 Pro daily driver and in apps that support the feature, such as the setting app, let's say we go through a couple of menus. Now, whenever we swipe and hold from the side of the screen, you can see that animation showing us what the page will look like if we complete that swipe back gesture. Again, back and hold, you can see what that previous page is. However, we can also undo that swipe just by going back to the edge. So if you want to complete that swipe, you know what page you're going to, or you can go back and you never completed that back action. You can see the entire page is replaced with what you will go back to if you complete that gesture. And you can see how useful this predictive back animation is since it completely replaces our screen with that previous image. Now, with the launch of Android 15, this animation feature is enabled by default. So there isn't a developer option toggle that needs to be tapped at all. However, the animation is much different than what it used to be. So we're back in the settings app and we can go through a couple of these menus. However, now, instead of replacing the entire screen with the page that we'll be going back to, we only see the current screen shrink in a tiny bit to give us a preview of the previous one that is sitting in the background. Just like before, we can undo this swipe and that screen expands, or we can complete this and that previous screen comes back. You can kind of see the background here of what the previous app is. However, it's not giving as much detail as what we saw in Android 14. So if that previous screen ends up being bare or generic, then it's not going to be very helpful at all. It is important to note that individual Android apps need to be updated in order to support the predictive back feature. Google hasn't even updated the Play Store application to support it, and I suspect third-party developers will be even slower to add in support at least as things are right now. But I could see this becoming a required feature in a few major updates from now. Google's own AI overview claims that the company changed this animation to provide a smoother and more intuitive navigation experience. And if true, I think that this change was for the worse as it gives us less information about what page we'll be going back to. However, it is possible that some Android beta feedback reports told them that the Android 14 animation was just too jarring. 
I don't know though. You let me know what you think about this change down in the comment section below. And please do not forget to like this video while also subscribing to the channel to learn more about Android 15 changes like this.